Well, tonight, it's a Sunday filled with emotion, especially for an Atlanta family grieving the loss of their 16 year old daughter after she was shot and killed this morning. Atlanta News first reporter Yasmin Olsen joining us live tonight outside of Benjamin E. Mays High School in Southwest Atlanta. What are we learning about the victims tonight, Yasmina? Tori, 16 year old Briasia Powell was shot and killed in another teen. A 16 year old boy was taken to the hospital in stable condition after that shooting outside of the school. This was a shooting that has shocked this community. Tragedy just a day after Atlanta students are released for the summer. 16 year old Briasia Powell shot and killed a 16 year old boy in the hospital after shooting outside of Benjamin E. Mays High School overnight. But this morning, my heart goes out to both families and definitely to the family of the decedent. Uh, this young lady was full of life and was actually expected to be working for the city of Atlanta starting on Tuesday in our summer youth employment program. So we ask for your prayers and heart to go out to these families. Briasia's life cut short because of youth gun violence. According to Atlanta police, officers responded to a report of multiple people shot around 2.30 a.m. Sunday afternoon, Mayor Dickens, School Superintendent Dr. Lisa Herring, and other officials urging young people to stay out of trouble and for parents to know where their kids are. Police say there was an unauthorized gathering at the end of the school's driveway. It happened after a graduation party at another location was ended by officers hours earlier. Earlier. We have always provided a safe and secure environment for our students, and we're going to continue to do that. We're going to continue to collaborate and work with the Atlanta Police Department to bring these subjects into justice. Mayor Dickens has been pushing Year of the Youth, reminding families that there are opportunities for teens to get jobs or join activities for the summer. And as of now, Atlanta police have not released any information on whether or not they've made any arrests or who they might be looking for. We'll, of course, keep you updated as we continue to learn more information. Live in Southwest Atlanta, yes, Mina Alston, Atlanta News First. All right, hard to believe this is happening that much in our community, Yasmina. We'll check back in with you soon.